what's up it's your boy dragon back with another tutorial in today's tour i'm gonna show you guys how to make this two-tone um screaming face cam that you see on the screen bro so if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like down below it will be appreciated but with all that being said let's just screen to it so the first thing you want to do is go to photoshop then file new and you just want to pick 1920 by 1080 you can have all these sets right here once you do that you want to hit create and when you get in here you hit you on your keyboard or you can just go down and right click and um get the rectangle tool but you want to click on the screen and you want to do 1280 as your width and then your height you just want to put uh 720 right here once you do that you just want to create it go to the move tool you can hit v to shortcut that but or you can just click on it and you just want to bring it to the center light so once you do this go to fill click this button right here that's going to x out the color then you want to go over to your stroke right here and you just want to pick a color and make the stroke bigger you can make it however big you want and you can change the shape of the webcam because it doesn't necessarily have to be a square square but you can change it like this right here if you want to so i'm gonna just keep mine like that though all right so now that i got this right here what you want to do is right click then you want to rasterize your layer go over to here drag like a ruler out and you can hit control r to get the rulers on there and once you do this hit m go right here with the marquee tool right click and then you just want to select um not select inverse but you want to layer you cut it so once you layer you cut it you'll have two sides automatically so now as you do this you want to hit control s and you just want to save it i'm gonna save it as two-tone face cam and this time i think i'm gonna actually leave the project file and stuff in the um, description and everything like this so go check it out so i'm gonna make that then go to adobe after effects and what i'm gonna do just make a new composition like so 1280 by 720 well actually put on 1920 by 1080 frame rate doesn't matter but i put mine on 30 so it can like the file can be small or whatever so import file and then you just want to import this right here make sure you got all this on hit okay and when not you have this right here what you want to do is hold control click both of these and we just gonna drag them down like so so once you drag them down um it should look like this right here and you can take them off to see both of them like so all right, so I'm gonna just have one on, and what I'm basically gonna do is go to layer, auto trace, okay, and then saber. I'm gonna drag this down to it. Render settings, I put it on transparent, customized core, I put it on layer mask, preset, art reactor, and the color doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna just put it yellow, and then what you can do is go right here, click on it, right click, copy. All right, so make sure you layer, I mean, auto trace both layers, and then once you do this, what you can do is Go up here, effect, saber, then right click and paste it. All right, once you paste it, what you can do to make two tone, basically just select a different color. And you can take off your transparency gear down here to see if it looks exactly how I showed you. Obviously, you can change the colors if you want, but I mean, you basically can put two in the colors on here. Like, um, say if I just want to make some cool, I'll just put this right here and put that right there. But obviously, you can change like the, um, the mode on here too like if you want to have two colors with two different modes on two face jump you feel me you can do that right there but it's just pretty simple to do and you can always come up here right click copy right click um paste it See, i put the wrong thing but you can do this and it's just, this just a simple way to make it if you just want to do like that and you just go right here change colors it's pretty simple but um yeah you can hit control z to go back i'm gonna just go back to what i made earlier but check out take off your transparency grid go to file export add to adobe media and code the queue once you do this right here you just want to click on this put it wherever you want to save it i'm just naming yellow and black um face cam and i'm actually gonna leave the project file not a project file but i'm gonna leave the files and stuff in the description and the comment section so make sure y'all check that out if you want it but what you want to do is save and then you hit the play button to actually render it but if you need more help um just go look up video how to render or whatever so once you got that screen out, what you can do is go down here, hit the plus symbol, media source, and this is how you put it in. Just go to loop, browse, and then say if I want to get it, I'm going to just type in a two-tone because I know I got one made. Well, let me see. And I'm just showing you how to put it in here. Mark, face cam, and then open, okay. And this is how you put the face cam in there. If you enjoy the video, help you out any type of way, you feel me? Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, it's being about Dragon. Peace out.